how y'all doing? I want to talk to you about this. Central American, particularly illegals, are wars of the state. Now, I'm not picking on Central Americans. That is actually true of just about all of the illegals, all of these refugees uh, that we keep letting come into this country. They are, they become wars of the state. And what is the definition of wars of the state? A person or a family who is totally dependent upon the government, dependent on the government for food, shelter, jobs, everything. Now, it's my observation that 99.99% of illegals, particularly from Central America, are wards of the state. And you show me a Central American who's not a ward of the state, I would take this video down. Okay? You show me a Central American who was not raised on food stamps and a housing subsidy, where the government pays for the housing, government pays for the food, government pays for the welfare, welfare check. I will give you some money. You show me one who wasn't raised on, on, on um, all those government subsidies, government handouts, government benefits. You show me one. I don't care what they're doing there. I know a lot of them, a lot of them um, you know, have bought houses and rental income and, and so on and so forth. And they've gotten their drug money and, and smuggling money and turned it into a, a restaurant. I get all that. But I'm just talking about, as general principle, most of them are wars of the state. Uh, when they get a job, that's just play money. That's just that's just McDonald's money. Like this one, this one lady, she's uh, you know, government pays for all her bills, her food stamps, her welfare check, and she works at at the laundromat. The Korean pays her in cash, so that's not even reportable. Uh, the, you know, the money that she gets in cash. That is not even even reportable. That's all play money. All it is is the money for take her children to McDonald's or whatever. Um, the school is 100% paid for from kindergarten through high school. Probably some colleges, too. Some college if they if they have a social security number or a fake social security number. I don't know. Um, how are they going? To, excuse me. How are they going to get a job at the bank? I don't know. <laughs> uh, now, when they build houses, because I watch, I look at, I go to construction sites and I look at them from a distance. You cannot go to a uh, construction site if you're not authorized. But I can look at a construction site from a distance. Um, when they build houses or build a building, I don't see any measurement. I don't see any measurement tools. And see, that's dangerous. I don't even see how, I, I have the books on, on how to build a house. I don't even see how you can build a house without um, uh, measurement tools. I don't even see how you can do that. But I don't see them having measurement tools. I don't see them build uh, measuring measuring anything. It's like they're saying, okay, this is the way it was done a few months ago, so I'm going to do it here. Okay. Uh, when they frame a house, there's no measurement. And I, like I said, you know, I just don't see uh, how you can build a house like that. You know, without measuring. I just don't see how you can build a house like that. But they do. Um. Their children are wars of the state. They grow up as wars of the state. And when their children have children, when they turn 18, they're going to become wars of, of the state. They're going to get their welfare, the house, and subsidy, and the food stamps. And it's going to continue infinitum for several generations. Um, and so they are wars of the state. I mean, we've got to face that. And I don't know why the United, United, the United States government would allow people from other countries to become wars of the state. Because they are, and they're always going to be wars of the state until they die, okay? They're going to get the housing subsidy, the food stamps, and the welfare check. You know, what it is What it is really is that they know how to manipulate the government. They just do plain and simple. They know how to manipulate the government. Have a nice day.